Hey guys, Camero here. It is August 27th of 2018, and today the Pokemon Essentials Wikipedia page and the download link were removed. Um, it appears to be a copyright infringement claim by Nintendo, and I've got a couple things to say about it. The first thing is that everyone should calm down. All the resources are still available. Um, right now in the description, I'm gonna provide a link through the Wayback Machine where you can still access the Pokemon Essentials Wiki as of March 3rd, 2018. So all the resources and links are still available, but if it goes against the wishes of Maruno or if a new statement is made um, where he does not want that to be like made available, I'll remove that from the video. But one thing that you should know right now is that like all of the Pokemon Essentials resources are still available, the Wikipedia page, uh, you know, the engine itself, all of that. So if you wish to continue fan game development, I would say that you still totally can. This this does not stop all of that dev that development work. Any work that you've put in on a current project, if you want to, you know, continue working on that, and you still have all the resources, you know, that's still totally fine. But that leads into my next thing, which is I feel like there are a lot of very talented developers in the fan game community. A lot of great artists, a lot of great music people, great writers, and I feel like this could be some kind of a wake up call. Um, a lot of you are very talented, and rather than jeopardizing your time and your work on a project that Nintendo does not support, I would say you might be better off working on your own games, your own intellectual properties. Like, a lot of people are amazing that I've seen, like on Discord and stuff, like professional level work, but they're not getting paid at all or professional, you know, like for their professional work. I would say a lot of people, you know, do this as a hobby, they're hobbyists, and, you know, they're very passionate about Pokemon, but, I don't know, it's just kind of like, take it with a grain of salt, it's really tough, like, I hate hearing that this happened, but, I don't know, it was always on the back of my mind, it was in, like, an inevitability almost, that Nintendo would catch wind, I don't know, it, it sucks, but... I feel like a lot of people maybe should transition. Like if you're at the like the early phases of a Pokemon project or the planning phases, I don't know, maybe try working on something else. I mean, RPG Maker is a very flexible engine where you can make really great quality games without it having to be a Pokemon game. I mean, the Pokemon Essentials tool has a lot of work and love put into it and making Pokemon games is really fun. Hell, I've, I've made a couple of them myself, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's hard to say what to do at this point. Right now, I would say keep an eye on what Marino has to say on Twitter because he's the one that's been contacted or the most in the loop regarding the the emails and you know like Nintendo's lawyers and the copyright infringement stuff. But yeah, I w he is going to be the person to follow when it comes to all of the stuff that's going on. But yeah, another thing that I think will be interesting to follow, um, we'll see if this happens within 24 hours of this video being posted. The content dump of the wiki is supposed to be made available after the wiki is closed, so the wiki might not be able to be uploaded or updated anymore, but all the resources may still be available. We'll see how that shakes out. You know, at the time of me recording this, I don't know. But who knows, maybe in a day, maybe two days from now, like all the resources will still be made publicly available. But yeah, in right now, instead of like spreading a lot of the resources potentially against Maruno's wishes, I'm gonna like cool it and chill and see what happens when the dust settles. But yeah, there's the Wayback Machine that you can use. But yeah, if that's against his wishes, I'll remove that link from the description and you know, we'll we'll see what to do from there. Um, and I guess another thing, let me check my notes. Um, like I was already kind of fading out. Like you saw my update video. If you saw my update, my last one that I made, the last video on my channel was like a month and a half ago, maybe a little, like almost two months now. I've disappeared for so long. Um, but yeah, I've lost a lot of interest in like RPG Maker Pokemon fan game stuff like making my own RPG still kind of interests me because I do have a lot of experience with RPG Maker and the engine and that does transfer over so if you're good at eventing in RPG Maker it transfers over like that knowledge of events really really helps if you've made a Pokemon game before don't knock it okay you could you can make your own original RPG and even sell it because it's not Nintendo it's you but um 
yeah, I've lost a lot of interest in Pokemon fan game creation and the tutorials and all that stuff. And this is kind of like a final demoralizing blow in my interest. In my last video, I think I already said that I didn't want to make fan games anymore. And I've been fading out. Like, I, I faded away for the last two months. But, yeah, I'm like very, very much out of it. And I don't know if you'll see another tutorial video from me, which is kind of a sad thought. In the last video, I said, oh, I still want to make them. And then I didn't. I proceeded not to make them. I'm a really busy guy. And I don't know if it is against, like, if Nintendo ends up, like, striking, like, a killing blow on Pokemon Essentials and, you know, a lot of people lose their interest and it becomes, you know, like, bad to spread the tool as a resource, then I don't want to make tutorials for that anymore. Um, I still want to make videos. I mean, maybe I'll make a Let's Play or something. I don't know. Nintendo is a really confusing company because on one hand, I grew up with a lot of their games. I love a lot of their games. I'm super excited for the new Smash Bros. But on the other hand, it's like they keep on doing all this shit that's like really questionable. I mean, they have to protect their intellectual property and the Pokemon company is super, super strict about protecting their intellectual property. I mean, for God's sake, Pokemon is like the number one like highest grossing franchise of all time so they're like super strict on it but it's weird to me that like they're strict against fan games but they're not strict against a lot of other stuff like there's a lot of other games that use pokemon assets that are doing a lot more harm than fan games if anything fan games are labors of love like pokemon and like the pokemon company and nintendo should like see some fan game creators i mean there are people who've made fan games who've moved on to professional jobs and i hope to be one of those as well i mean right now i'm in qa but you know i want to climb out but what am i trying to say i don't know i'm rambling what i'm trying to say is that nintendo perplexes me they made a perplexing decision today they've made a kind of disappointing decision a frustrating decision i don't know where their priorities lie you know but yeah do not panic all of the resources can still be accessed. My tutorials still apply to a lot, of, or hopefully all, of the resources that are available through the Wayback, through the Wayback Machine. Um, I'm gonna wait to see what happens, what statements are made, what the official stance is by Nintendo. Right now, it's not looking good. You know, copyright infringement claim. We'll see how that all pans out. But yeah, I just wanted to reach out and let you guys know what was happening and what my thoughts were and what my stance was on everything. Um, I'm almost done with that app that I was developing. I keep on taking breaks from it. I actually took a one week break. I went on a little vacation with my girlfriend, Raya, and we had a good time. But um, yeah, it's it's a Pokemon app. So hopefully Nintendo doesn't come shove their finger up my butt. Cause uh, I don't know, I've spent a good amount of time on this. Like my previous version of the app sucks. This new one, I keep on wanting to add stuff to it. And then I just end up never releasing it. Like I added all the generations. I added all these new modes of quizzes. And then I'm like, oh, there's no online leaderboards. I can't release it until the online leaderboards are in because what's the point of even playing? And then I can't, I struggle on the online leaderboards and I have a tough time figuring them out. And then the app doesn't get released. So what I'm gonna do is I think release that pretty soon. Just wanted to let you guys know. But yeah, maybe I'll get back to playing some other games. I don't know. I still need to play the Pokemon uh, Relic Castle game, Jam 4 games. I mean, I've been so out of the loop. I'm going in blind if I play them. So that's cool. I mean, there's a whole wealth of great content there that Nintendo apparently doesn't approve of. But then again, Nintendo already didn't approve of them. We saw what happened with Uranium. We saw what happened with uh, Prism. I feel like there was another one in there. Fusion Generation? I think Fusion Generation got taken down also. That was one of the ones that inspired me to make fan games. But yeah, I'm rambling again. Uh, thank you all for watching. You can find the link to the Wayback Machine in the description. That will give you the old Pokemon Essentials wiki, so do not panic. Um, people are talking about it on the Thundaga Discord, but hey, if you watch this video, you may already know people have been talking about it on Twitter. People have been talking about it on Poke Community. All the resources are still there. If you really wish to develop fan games, you still totally can. It's just, you know, if your fan game gets notoriety, then, you know, Nintendo might come for you next. I don't know. It's kind of demoralizing. Imagine spending 200 hours of your time on a project more. Like, if you're Maruno, imagine spending that much goddamn time on Pokemon Essentials, like thousands of hours, and then Nintendo being like, oh, pfft, you know. It sucks. It's really disappointing. I'm disappointed. I'm bummed. I'm frustrated. I've already lost almost all motivation 
in Pokemon fan game stuff, but yeah. I'll still play fan games. I don't know about making tutorials. I mean, I want to give feedback. I still have a lot of good things to say, I hope. I hope people like my feedback. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'll try to make another video again sometime soon. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make any tutorials again, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'll respond to you in a month. Or hopefully I'll respond to you in less time, but I'm just, I've just been so bad. I've been so bad, I'm sorry. But yeah, see you guys next time. This sucks, but we'll get through it. The Pokemon fan game community is strong. They'll get through hopefully everything and anything. They've, they've gone through things before, but I don't know if anything's ever been this scale. Ugh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, and good luck developing your games. Bye now.